Hi all and welcome to another episode here on Vanilla FM. Uh, we are playing Hereford in Skybat League 1. The year is 2034 and we're going to play, I think, the fourth game of the season against Burton. Let me just show you how the season's gone so far. Apologies for, um, you know, the voice. It, I'm still a bit poorly. If those of you who've watched the previous episode will know I've been a little bit poorly lately. So, we... I've started the season. I've, I think I've had three draws so far. Yeah, three draws. Uh, so we've only got three points. Not not too good. We also lost our first match for the Carabao Cup against Derby, who play in the league above. But the first thing you'll want to know is what are the changes this year. So the biggest change, actually, I'm going to show you the finances for a bit, is that we seem to be doing slightly better financially. If you look, this is kind of the trend every season. And when the season starts, obviously we get the um, season tickets and you get the sponsorship. So it kind of climbs up and then it goes down for the bottom of the season. Then sort of climbs up a little bit and goes down for the bottom of the season and so on and so forth. So this year our climb actually took us all the way to positive figures, believe it or not. So we seem to be doing better than previous years. That has probably something to do with the fact we sold some players, as I showed you in the previous episode. We sold uh, Archie Flynn to Cardiff for 325k. He's a pretty good player, but nothing too special. He's got pretty good physical there. We also sold one of our central defenders, John Adesina, uh, to Peterborough, who also played in this league. So obviously, this one is a slightly better player, but um, again, nothing that we couldn't replace for cheaper so we made some money that way um, the other thing going for us is that we no longer have a loan to pay so we paid off all of our loans so that's great and there we go so we should be doing slightly better this year i have tried asking the board for an expanded stadium and they've said no even though when i asked was when we were in the positives here so there I think that's one of the main reasons we're doing so badly is because our stadium is so small. In fact, we can probably look into this. Uh, if you go to the league we're in and we look at stadiums, I, I, I don't know, but yeah, there we go. So we don't have the smallest stadium, but we have one of the smallest stadiums. And really, we want to be sort of around here in the middle where we get yeah, at least a 10,000 seat stadium so at least doubling the amount of seats we have right now so we have a tiny stadium which means it's always pretty much full and we are not able to um, get as much money from great receipts and season tickets as we would normally it also doesn't help that our stadium only has about half of its capacity is standing um, so I don't think we can sell season tickets for those uh, anyway so that's that. Now the news are we want to take go through the uh, new recruits for this year. We have two new goalkeepers also on loan. Last year we had two goalkeepers on loan. This year we have two goalkeepers on loan. So we've got Ian Roberts from uh, West Brom. He's a pretty good goalkeeper, not gonna lie. Um, especially for our uh, um, uh, league, and then we also have Israel from Brazil. He's on loan from Flamengo, and um, is it Flamengo? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, he's also a very good goalkeeper. So um, uh, we have two new goalkeepers on the right side of the fence. We still have Blaine Rowe, no changes there, and um, the other player for that position is Tyler Jardine, also still there no changes central defenders we have i think two new so let me let's go through it so we still have luke bell from last year he's up basically our main central defender and we still have if i can find them in this list um did a lot he's currently injured he's one of the backup ones now new we have simpson put uh i don't know how to pronounce that so i'm not going to attempt it um yeah, we have him as a bit of a second backup, so he's kind of on par with Jaden Lott. And then the, our second main central defender is Murray Campbell. He has come to us on a transfer, 
permanent transfer from Scotland, uh, then for Lynn, I don't know how to pronounce that either. Anyway, so he's with us, so we have a pretty strong central defense. I also made a change in the tactics, so instead of having a non nonsense sense back, I now have two central defenders. So that kind of go ties in better with our short passing uh, mentality. Also makes it, makes it easier for recruitment as well. So now on the left side of the fence, no changes. So we still have Sai. And our backup player for that position is Adam Groom. And um, in the defensive midfield, also again, no changes. Ethan Hill still there. And our main player for that position who's actually currently injured is Chris Austin and Nugent. Talking about Nugent, if you want to support the channel, if you like this channel and you want to give me a little bit of support, you can head over to the Patreon link, which is always in the description, and you can name one of the Nugents, either a senior Nugent or um, just any Nugent from the youth squads as well. And we'll follow along the life of that Nugent for as long as we keep up keep up with this see uh, with this episodes with these series I mean so we'll follow the life of the new journey in each, each episode anyway back to the transfers so no changes in the central defense no changes in uh, the midfield either Adam Coomer still with us and so is David Evans uh, the right side of the fence we have one new player if I could find him Jimmy Knox not a great def a great player. In fact, Adam O'Shea, as you'll know, he's a classic. So he's been with us since forever. And he's a crap player. But we, this is, we can't seem to find any better players, really. We had a look at a different player. Um, bringing back the guy that we had last year on a permanent deal. But he ended up signing for someone else. So that couldn't be done. On the left side of, of attack, we have Richard Europe on loan from Portsmouth. Pre, uh, not a bad player, and the other player is still Kieran McLeod. So he's, he's one of our own um, from our own school. So again, this position, these two positions aren't particularly great, and absolutely no changes in attack whatsoever. We still have Patrick Casey as um, our main striker, even though he, he doesn't really play that well. He hasn't played that well lately. Patrick Kuma, uh, sorry, Patrick Casey, Taylor Winters. Um, Kai Churchley, and finally Ben Jablonski. So I would say the attack, the other fence is pretty good. And then once you start going into the midfield and, to, and into the attack, is where we start losing quality quite rapidly. So we have, still have that issue. We don't have the capital. And I didn't want to exhaust all of our transfer money because obviously our finances are fragile. We still have plenty of transfer budget and stuff, but actually let's leave that. Maybe I'll use some of it in January, but at the moment let's just stay as it is. So we're going to go ahead and play this match against Burton and see how we go. I'm not expecting a win. I think Burton are actually quite high in the league. I haven't checked how high they are, but I guess I will find out now if I pause this and there we go. Ah, 12th. But I think they are a lot better than us though, even though they're only 12th. So we'll, um, we'll just have to see. Yeah, so um, our main aim here is to make sure the club, the club's finances stabilize um, so we can start to improve our stadium. I think once we start improving our stadium, we'll start receiving slightly better and slightly more steady income throughout the year, which means the club won't, you know, won't dip so much into the red. That's the hope anyway. <laughs> so.
so we kind of starting to look towards the next edition of the game aren't we so we're in august now and um usually the beta for the new game comes out in october so we're only about two months away from having a, f a look at the game there'll probably be some previews before that kind of september time uh, i think i'm not entirely sure if the women's leagues are coming to the game this year or next year but i know they are a thing and they are in the works So that'll be exciting. Obviously, when the new game comes out, I will pick up Hereford again. I'm um, actually I'm gonna see. Let me just grab my phone real quick. I'm gonna see where Hereford are doing in real life. I've not looked in recent weeks or how they are doing. I probably should. <laughs> Apologies for on all the sniffling and stuff. I just um, got a cold, a very bad cold. So, if you look at the fixtures, <laughs> they are going to play Spartans next, but we're going to look at a table. Here for the third. Oh, that's good. They are third of the league at the moment in real life. With three matches played. <laughs> so obviously the, the league just started. Uh, the new league. Um, uh, the league that's going to be in the game next year. So they are still playing in the Vanarama North in real life. And three matches into the league they are third placed. I think they're joint third place. Actually, they're joint second place. They've got the same points as Brackley Town. Uh, the same number of wins. Two wins, one draw. And the same number of goals. two goal, Four goals for, two goals against. So they are exactly tied with Brackley Town. So they're joint second on everything. So, yeah, there we go. I'll be looking forward to playing that new Hereford squad. So, like, next year, I'm thinking, um, when we're, we're building the team, I think I'm going to stick to the original players for the first half of the season. Maybe just plug in. It's always exciting to have a look at transfers, so I'll look at transfers. Maybe I'll plug in, plug in two or three gaps in the team. But the majority of the squad, I'll, I'll keep to it. And then that kind of gives us an added factor of fun to see how the players for the real Hereford do. Although my normal strategy when I play my own saves are to just bulldoze the entire team usually and do my own thing. But I'll try to, I'll try to keep it with the original players until January and then we'll see. Right, we're going to do some substitutions here. We're not doing too well against Burton, but that was to be expected. Not really caring too much about this one. Um, let's put Evans in. So five subs at half time. There we go. Let's change this guy to Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll probably have a look at, um, um, might have a look at changing the tactic a little bit. Obviously, I've stuck with this tactic for this save, but I think next save, I might adjust it slightly. Maybe try and go without wingers? I'm not sure if that would be a bad thing. Or a good thing. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll have a look. Oh, 
All right, so this is a loss here against... I thought I was playing Burton, but it says Bal up there. Why does it say Bal? What's their full name? <laughs> what is the full name of Burton? Burton Albion. Oh, I see. But it also says Brewers on their logo. Bolton Albion FC. Is Brewers one of the spawn? I don't know. Maybe Brewers is the um, nickname for them. Anyway, so I'll catch up with you in January. I'll carry on as it is. And, um, and then we'll... Uh, come back together in January again. It might take a while for the next episode to come through. As you can tell, I'm a little bit poorly, so I'm kind of just taking this at my own speed. But yeah, I'll catch up with you in another one. Thanks so much. Bye.